Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to install Star Wars Battlefront 2 on Mac using Crossover. Um, Crossover is a paid service. Um, for one year of updates it would cost $74. I know on Black Friday, um, which is when I got mine, uh, they do a huge, huge sale. I think I spent less than $20. Don't quote me on that. Um, but when you purchase a license for Crossover, uh, you essentially have it for life. The only thing that changes is once your year runs up, you no longer get updates. So if you buy this at Crossover 25, which is what it currently is on, um, and you're happy with the performance in the games that you play, uh, after your yearly subscription kind of runs out, if you will, um, you still get to use the service. You just don't get the updates uh, for future games and stuff like that. Um, there is a free trial. I believe it's about 14 days, and I will leave the link to this crossover website where you can download it for macOS. So when you get here, you just want to scroll down, hit Mac OS. If you want to do the free trial, you can. Um, you'll have to enter your name, email, and they will send you a download link. Um, once they send you that, it's just like any other download on Mac where you're, you're going to need to go to your downloads folder and, uh, you know, or switch it over into your downloads and then onto your desktop and stuff like that. And it's going to have this little icon down here. So once you installed Crossover, um, I would recommend for Battlefront 2 going to the EA subreddit, or not subreddit, the EA uh, website, and you're going to want to sign in. If you don't have an account, you'll want to create an account. Battlefront 2 uses EA as kind of like a third-party, secondary server type thing to play the game. Um, so I would sign in before doing anything in your crossover bottles or anything like that, just so it's nice and smooth and it already knows who you are. Um, so once that's done, you're going to open up your crossover app. And I already have a bottle set up um, with my Steam and EA in there. But if you need to, if you've never used Crossover before, you need what's essentially a bottle. So you are putting the Windows versions of these apps that are going to be translated from all the different Windows software into Metal. Um, don't also please don't quote me on that. I am not tech literate when it comes to all these translation layers. Um, but to do that. When you open Crossover, if you've never done it before, this will be blank. You won't have any bottles here. So you'll want to go to Install. You'll type in Steam. And you want to download this version. So once you download that, it'll go into your bottle. And you're going to want to do D3D Metal and M-Sync. I'm going to reboot real quick just to show you. And then once you have that set up, you're going to just open Steam, and it's going to prompt you for your uh, login information. Um, so you have your full Steam library ready to go. Um, I'm already logged in, so you won't see any of that. Um, but as you can see, like right now, Cyberpunk is not native, natively released on Mac, but I have it downloaded. I've been playing it, just made a video on it. And I also have Battlefront 2 downloaded. So once you have Steam downloaded and you open the app, log in, you're going to want to close it. So the best way for me to do that is to just go back into your Steam bottle and just quit all applications like that. It's going to shut down Steam. And then you're going to shut down Crossover just to be safe. Then we're going to open it right back up again and go to our Steam bottle. We're going to go to install EA app. 
and I used the this one for my install so kind of the same deal click on it hit install it'll automatically do all the magic it does that crossover the crossover team does and it will install it in here I have seen though that the EA app that I've downloaded this one might not work as well or it sorry this one does work better than the EA app for Steam do not do not download the EA app for Steam for some reason there's all this wonky stuff going on with that one so you want to use the normal EA app so go ahead install that it'll go into your bottle you'll want to open this up log in again if it didn't save your credentials from you doing it online and then you're gonna want to open up Steam again once Steam is opened up with D3D Metal and M-Sync still, still on, you're going to just download Battlefront 2, just like any any game in your Steam library. Like, um, Let's go to like something like Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima. So you'll just hit install just like you're on a Windows PC or it's a native title on Mac. It's going to download. It might take a little bit longer than a normal download because it's running through crossover um, but again once once it's downloaded ready to play you're gonna wanna quit back out of Steam so quit all applications again and what I've found under advanced settings for Battlefront 2 specifically is running D3D Metal and then eSync this gives me the best performance with like zero to no crashes. Like um, it, when I had it on M Sync, there was a bunch of different problems. But D3D Metal, E Sync, I keep high resolution mode off, no other changes. So we'll go ahead and open up Steam again. Once once Steam is open. Games downloaded. We are on D3D Metal eSync. We're just going to launch the game. So some people can launch this game from the start perfectly fine, no issues. And some people it's going to have a black screen that you can't get past. If you have the black screen, what you're going to want to do is go to your system settings, go to your display, your main display and do 1920 by 1080 and then launch the game and then once you're inside of the game you can change back to 1440p 4k whatever resolution you're targeting but if you get that black that black pop-up and it won't load anymore um, that's kind of the solution I found that helped so the reason why my game is windowed right now is again due to kind of crashing and stuff so I'm just going to open it full screen. Um, but I noticed when I was playing on ultra settings um, in full screen, I was like crashing randomly throughout the game. Uh, just completely random. So when I switched it to windowed mode, I've, uh, now I don't ever have crashes. So this is on an M4 Max, Mac Studio. Um, but I'm playing in window mode, 1440p, uh, 240 hertz. I have HDR on auto. Um, that depends on your monitor. Uh, DirectX 12 and VSync are off. My field of view is 80. Um, these are kind of the settings. I've been running everything on high. And the U UI quality mode is at 1080p. And a lot of people have been having issues with connecting to the online. The thing is, this is not Mac specific. So when you connect, it might give you an error, like a 712 error saying it can't connect to EA. You literally just have to keep clicking it until it works. This time it worked like a charm right away. Sometimes I've had to click it 10, 15 plus times before it just went through. Again, this is not a Mac specific issue. It's not because it's running through crossover. 
this is the same issue that Windows users have because they're not actively working on servers for this game anymore. So once you're online, you can play multiplayer. We'll do supremacy, play any. We'll hop into game real quick. Show you how it performs. Again, we're at 1440p high. We are in windowed mode, but we just maxed the screen so it's full screen. I don't have the dock anywhere. If I go down here, I'll see the dock. But once I'm in game moving around, you're not going to be able to pull this up. It's gone. If you do play and the dock won't go away, just go to your settings, type in dock, and do the hide dock feature. But once you're in, you're basically good to go. It runs absolutely fantastic at high, medium, low settings. Um, I think the max frame rate is 200, because as you can see in the top right, it doesn't want to go over 200 for whatever reason. And it absolutely has the power to go above that. Um, but it's a pretty seamless experience. It's kind of daunting if you've never used crossover before. Um, but there's a guy on YouTube, Andrew Sai, who does a bunch of stuff with crossover and Mac gaming. If you get confused, you can watch his tutorial on how to download games via crossover. But yeah, once you're in, I'm running about 140 FPS. Smooth as butter. There's no stuttering. Um, it's just like you're playing on a Windows gaming PC or anything like that. The frame graph is nice and smooth in the top right corner. No issues at all. Play for a few minutes just so you guys can kind of see the performance and how there's lack of micro stutters or anything like that. But I'm really glad that this game is uh, resurging um, because of Ondor and all that stuff. I played this game a lot when it first came out, and I really love Star Wars, and I think this game is really solid. Uh, it's very fun to come back and play it after years. But yeah, that's basically it. Um... If you guys have questions, if you run into issues, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to try to help you. Uh, you might run into little bugs that I have not experienced yet, but you, I promise you, you'll be able to get through it and get to a playable level. Um, it just takes a little bit of time and effort to get it running. Um, there's no issue with um, anti-cheat. People have been playing for hundreds of hours on the Steam Deck, which is Linux, um, which most games don't like Linux because of the lack of anti-cheat, um, so you don't have to worry about getting banned or anything like that. But I hope this video helped you guys. Um, please leave a like, subscribe down below if it helped out. If you want a more in-depth uh, tutorial, like I can walk through actually installing everything from the start from crossover um i'm sorry i didn't do that today but since i have everything downloaded i just really didn't want to uninstall things and spend hours reinstalling games and the bottles and all that stuff um but i hope this helped and hope you guys have fun playing but have a great day thank you so much for watching goodbye